Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be talking about opposites and absolute values. The opposite of a number is the one number that is equidistant from zero. When I say two numbers are equidistant from zero, they are the same distance from zero. Let's look at the number 4 here. Plotting 4 on the number line will be a little bit to the left of 5. Here's 4. So what's 4's distance from 0? Turns out it's just 4 units away. There's only one other number in the world that is also 4 units away from 0. And that number is going to be negative 4. While 4 is 4 units to the right of 0, negative 4 is also 4 units away from 0. Simply put, we use negatives to show the opposite. The opposite of 4 is going to be negative 4. What if we had the number negative 2? Here we're going to plot negative 2, which is to the left of 0. Negative 2 is just 2 units away from 0. The only other number that is also 2 units away from 0 is going to be positive 2, which is right over here. Since we use negatives to show opposites, we could put a negative in front here. The opposite of negative 2 is just positive 2. It's important for you to start thinking about negative signs as meaning the opposite. Let's look at another example, like negative 8. Negative 8 is going to be over here to the left between negative 5 and negative 10. We can see here that 8 is 8 units away from 0. To find the opposite of negative 8, we would take this negative 8 and put a negative in front of it. A negative negative 8, or the opposite of negative 8, is just going to be a positive 8. Let's see if that makes sense here. If we plot that on our number line, here is positive 8. Things seem to check out because positive 8 is also 8 units away from 0. While the opposite of a positive number is negative, the opposite of a negative number is always going to be positive. Let's look at absolute values now. The absolute value of a number is the number's distance from zero. Since absolute value is defined as a distance, it's always going to be positive. We only measure distance using positive numbers. Even if you were to go backwards, you'd be going backwards a certain distance. It wouldn't be a negative distance. Let's look at this on a number line now. While negative signs represent opposite, we use these long absolute value bars on the sides of the number to represent absolute value. When you see a problem like this, you should read it as, what's the absolute value of 7, or how far is 7 from 0? Looking at the number line here, 7 is going to be over here to the right. Seeing that 7 is 7 units away from 0 here, we can say that the absolute value of 7 is just equal to 7. What about the absolute value of negative 3? Plotting negative 3 on our number line is going to be over here to the left of 0. Here's negative 3. So what's the absolute value of negative 3? Well, since it's 3 units away from 0, we can say the absolute value of negative 3 is just going to be positive 3. And what if we have something a little trickier, like we have the absolute value of negative 1, but we take the opposite of the absolute value of negative 1? Well, first, let's plot negative 1 on our number line, and it's going to be right here to the left of 0. These bars around this negative 1 mean find the absolute value of negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is just going to be 1, because it's 1 unit away from 0. That leaves us with the opposite of 1. And the opposite of 1 here is just going to be negative 1. So just to recap, the bars around the negative 1 are asking you how far is negative 1 from 0. And that value or that distance happened to be 1. And this negative on the outside really represents the opposite of whatever that value is. The opposite of positive 1 is just going to be negative 1. Whenever you see these types of problems, you always work your way out from the inside. Let's try some examples together. In example 1, let's find the opposite of 4. To write this, we're going to write the number 4, and the word opposite really means negative, so we're going to put a negative in front of it. Plotting this, here's negative 4 on the number line. What about the opposite of negative 2.7? We'll first write down negative 2.7 here, and to write the opposite of that, we're going to put a negative in front of it. So here's the OG original number, and this negative just means we're taking the opposite of it. The opposite of negative 2.7 is just going to be a normal 2.7. Here's 2.7 plotted on the number line. It should be between 2 and 3, but a little closer to the 3. Now let's find and plot the opposite of negative 3.5. First, write the original number down, put in parentheses, and put a negative in front to show the opposite. Here's the original number, and this negative tells us we're taking the opposite. The opposite of negative 3.5 is just going to be positive 3.5. Try plotting it on a number line, and it should be exactly between 3 and 4. Now let's find the opposite of 5.3. So let's first write down 5.3, and let's put a minus sign in front of it to show the opposite. Again, here's our original number, and this negative means we're taking the opposite of it. The opposite of 5.3 is just going to be negative 5.3. On a number line, negative 5.3 should be a little bit to the left of negative 5. And that's how you find and plot opposites. In example 2, we're going to find and plot absolute values. Remember that these absolute value bars are just asking how far each of these values are from 0. 
The absolute value of 7.5 is simply 7.5. On a number line, 7.5 would be located right here. Finding the absolute value tells us we are 7.5 units away from 0. In the second one, the absolute value of negative 3 and 2 thirds is just going to be 3 and 2 thirds. On a number line, we can plot this value right here. Here's our original number of negative 3 and 2 thirds. We can see here that its distance from 0 was 3 and 2 thirds units. To plot this distance, we put it right here. This next one asks us to find the opposite of the absolute value of negative 8.3. That's just going to be negative 8.3. While this part asks us for a distance which is positive, this negative on the outside is telling us we're finding the opposite of it. We would plot negative 8.3 to the left side of our number line. While its distance was 8.3 units away from 0, we had to find the opposite of that distance, which makes it negative 8.3. Finally, we have the absolute value of 5.75, and that's just going to be 5.75. Here's 5.75 on our number line. We can see that the distance is 5.75 units away from zero. In example three, we're gonna order a bunch of values from least to greatest. Pause the video to give it a try and see how you do. This right here says the absolute value of negative two and that's just gonna be positive two. That's gonna go right here. This right here is just gonna be a normal four and that's gonna go right here. This represents the opposite of 4.3, which is negative 4.3 and we're going to plot that value right over here. This one right here represents the opposite of the opposite of 4.4, which is just positive 4.4. And we're going to plot that over here to the right. This next one represents the opposite of the absolute value of the opposite of 4.8, and that's just going to be negative 4.8. And we're going to plot that right over here to the left. Here we have a nice easy zero. It's going to go right in the middle. Here we have the absolute value of the opposite of 3.5, which is just going to be 3.5 and that's gonna go right over here. Here we just have a normal 3.8, which is just gonna stay the same. And that's gonna squeeze right between these numbers here. Here we have the opposite of the absolute value of the opposite of five, and that's just gonna be negative five. I'm gonna plot that right over here on the left side. And finally, we have a positive 4.2. We're just gonna squeeze that into the right side here. Now from least to greatest, we have the absolute value of negative five. Then we have the opposite of the absolute value of negative 4.8, then we have negative 4.3, then we have zero, then we have the absolute value of negative two, then comes the absolute value of negative 3.5, then we have a 3.8, a four, a 4.2, and the opposite of negative 4.4. These are all the numbers from least to greatest. In example four, we're gonna try some application problems together. Pause the video and try it on your own. Unpause the video to see how you do. First, I made a table to organize all the locations of each of the fish. Then we take the absolute value of each of these locations to find out their distance from zero. These values here represent the distance each fish is from sea level. Here's a vertical number line and zero meters will be at the top at sea level. Now that we have a vertical number line, we can plot the locations of each of the fish. The big fish is at negative 4.3 meters. The medium fish is at negative 7.6 meters. The small fish is at negative 5.1 meters and the mini fish is at negative 0.8 meters. Since all of these values were negative, the one with the smallest absolute value was the closest to sea level. And let's try one last one together. Pause the video and give it a try on your own and unpause it to see how you did. First, I made a table to organize all the information. Elizabeth has the least amount of money having negative $32.14. Then comes Sebastian with negative $24.65. Then we have Marley, who also owes money at negative $12.42, followed by Delilah with positive $4.67. And finally, we have Sam, who is the richest one of them all, with $32.14. Sebastian had the least amount of money, while Sam had the most amount of money. The two people who had opposite account balances were Elizabeth and Sam. While Sam actually has $32.14 she can use, Elizabeth owes $32.14 to the bank now. And that wraps up this lesson on opposites and absolute values. I hope you found it informative and you took some notes down and tried the examples with me. Keep up the good work and I'll see you in the next one.